<laughs> so how about our fiddler, Harvey Wanger? Wonderful. Thank you so much. So Harvey, you can go and make, put that up and make yourself comfortable and eat some more. And we're going to yeah, I have to take my yep. So if everyone else would take a seat. Thank you, artists, very much. So y'all may sit down. Thanks for following us. Patrons, artists, we may take our seats so the program can start, please. Okay. Just getting Joe now. So, may I have your attention, please? All of these beautiful people up here have constructed all of this. And as an extension of them, we have a lot of artists. So, we cannot do this without them. And we cannot thank them enough. So, would you help us try? So we have ambassador artists, and we have our team up here as well. All of these people are part of our team. So enjoy it, and, and many more out there that couldn't be up here on stage with us. So thank you very much for your patience, and we're going to get started with the program now. Was that fun? Did y'all have fun? We had fun. <laughs> um, so welcome everyone tonight. We're gathered here to celebrate a wonderful milestone on Plain Air, Texas's 10th year anniversary. It's a night under the Texas stars. I'm wearing them. <laughs> Um, and let's ta take a moment. We're going to let you look with us over the past nine years. So enjoy this video with us looking back. Good evening, I'm Barbara Rallo. Welcome to On Plein Air Texas 2023 as we celebrate 10 years under the Texas stars. Obviously, stars are twinkling above us, but there are stars here among us tonight. Our artist stars blessing us with their amazing artwork for 10 years. Our patron stars, our sponsors, hosts, ranchers, and buyers. Thank you all for your special gifts. How did this all begin? 25 years ago, I began traveling to France to sketch and paint with my dear friend, Treva Boyd. 11 years ago, my husband and I attended the largest plein air event in the country, and I was blown away. After bringing one of those artists here to do a workshop, I approached Howard Taylor with the wild plan of bringing the best plein air painters in the world to paint here, and somehow convinced him to let Treva and me go to work. I tend to think of Barbara as the Molly Crawler of our time, this incredible art spirit uh, from our community. Barbara said, I would love to work with you to create a national artist competition, a plein air competition. And uh, why not? We worked with Barbara. She uh, 
brought her good friend Treva Boyd on board and she uh, contacted a wide range of people that she knew and organized this wonderful volunteer group uh, and then indeed created, uh, now that we're looking at the 10th anniversary, one of the greatest uh, on plein air events in America. Uh, I came to St. Angelo in 1984 to open our new art museum. Uh, and at that time, several people told me that there had once been an art colony in St. Angelo. And I found that a little hard to believe. Uh, and I could find no evidence of it for a number of years until a man named Bill Cheek contacted me. Bill's a very avid collector of early Texas art and founder of an important organization called Cassetta, the Center for the Advancement and Study of Early Texas Art. He sent me a photograph, this wonderful photograph, of a gathering of artists in the 1920s in Cristobal, Texas, and it was known as the Cristobal Art Colony, and it existed for a number of years in the 20s. And it was created uh, and overseen by this wonderful woman named Molly Crowthers, and uh, Molly was a remarkable woman, and she had friends all over the country, and she brought together, indeed, some of the leading artists of that era, and then many students who went on to become famous artists in their own right. Well, a number of years later at the museum, we thought, wouldn't it be interesting or exciting to bring to life in some way a manifestation of that early colony? Well, here it is a decade later, uh, going into our 10th anniversary, and it has become truly one of the leading plain air events in the country. Uh, what a wonderful thing it is for our community. Uh, people get to experience it, people on the ranches, people in the downtown. It engages so many people in our community who are sponsors, supporters, uh, and it brings together leading artists from all over America and indeed even around the world. And also it's created this incredible body of work of paintings of our region, of our architecture, of our beautiful landscape. Uh, and so in many ways it's achieved a lot of things, but another thing that I think is particularly important is it's become a major asset for supporting our children's education programs. see that all those years painting in France prepared us for this journey. The rewards, seeing thousands of school children experience something like plein air with world-class artists in their classrooms. As the community embraces this event and our artists, they've captured our favorite places on canvas and given us treasures to last for generations. We are immensely grateful to all of you here tonight and over the years. You are the stars in our hearts and helped make this one of the premier plenary events in the world. Thank you also to all of you whose excellent taste in art drives our sales every year and funds our award-winning educational programming. Every $10 we raise provides a meaningful fine art experience for a local child. Thanks to our sponsors, donors, and programs like EPAT, the San Angelo Museum of Fine Arts is able to serve 33,000 students annually through its camps, classes, outreach programs, take-home art kits, and its after-school and Saturday family programs. Last year, EPAT sales alone benefited 8,000 children in the Concho Valley. In our 10th year, it's our goal to raise enough to benefit 10,000 local children. Thank you for your support. We salute all the volunteers and the people who've come together to make this happen, and particularly Barbara and her good friend, Treat. Cheers to you all and to 10 years of plein air painting in Texas.
This event is a huge team effort, and this year it's bigger than ever. I offer my sincerest thanks and congratulations to everyone who had a hand in it. Our amazing SAMHSA staff, who make it a pleasure to come to work every day, the dynamic team of volunteers who pour their time and their effort as well as their hearts into making EPAT a success every year. Barbara Rollo and Treva Boyd for 10 years of their exceptional leadership of this program. Our gracious host families for their West Texas hospitality and the outstanding artists who allow us to see the beauty of the San Angelo area through fresh eyes every year. And most of all, our generous sponsors who make it all possible. personally thank you for your support of Unplan Air Texas. We are proud to celebrate its 10th anniversary this year together with all of you. Now, enjoy the party and bring home some art. So did you, en so did you enjoy that? We did. Barbara. <laughs> Thank you. Just like it was. Is that okay? You want it right back where it was? Is that where you want it? That with him. Um, but with the judge? Yeah, the judge. Or for so, the stars not only twinkle above us tonight, but we celebrate the stars in the room tonight. Thank you, artists, very much, patrons, sponsors, all of our supporters. Let's give you all a hand. And we thank you for 10 wonderful years. So tonight, we want to celebrate one in particular, one of our shining stars in particular. We would like to invite Richard Sneary to the stage. How convenient you're up here on the front row. Ellen. Richard is the only artist. Each year we have a different juror, and he is the only artist that has been juried in all 10 years of On Plain Air Texas. So we celebrate him tonight. We recognize his achievement and uh, the huge sales that he has brought to this event through his brilliant paintings, uh, which has helped us enable to continue to provide mu the museum with many more uh, children's art experiences. So we thank him, and his extraordinary talent is admired by so many. Um, he has helped elevate the appreciation of water the watercolor medium nationally, throughout the nation, and we extend our sincere thanks to him this evening. We love you, Richard. Thank you. We have a small presentation for him. 
It's a big Texas size cutting board etched, <laughs> etched with our appreciation. So tonight, we also want to honor another shining star. She's here tonight to, uh, to bring part of her glitter. It's Elta Joyce McAfee, a true Texas star in her own right, and who has been extraordinary supporter of our, of our Grand Dame of On Plain Air Texas event in San Angelo for all these years. We got started because of Elta Joyce. Um, we're grateful for her love of art, her generous support, which has helped make our community be a better place. She's all over the community. Um, and as a symbol of our appreciation, we present her with some yellow roses. She... <laughs> which not only represents our Texas theme tonight, <laughs> they have a significant meaning in our Texas history representing the fight for our independence and a special friendship, uh, which is what we feel for her. We are honored to have her here tonight along with her daughter, Lisa, and we thank her for her unwavering support and love of this event over the past 10 years. You are our Yellow Rose Star of Texas tonight. Thank you. Can we get a picture of her? You want to go down? Yeah. And now I'd like to call to the stage our mayor, Brenda Gunter, who has also just supported us for the 10 years in, well, not, not as mayor the whole time, but she's always been uh, welcome, welcomed our artists to her restaurant, Miss Hattie's. So, Brenda, please come. Are you sure? You, is that mine? Okay. This is all mine. Before I read the proclamation, what I would like for each of you to do is stand up and show Barbara and Treva how much we appreciate the energy and effort and all that they put into this event. And I'm sure a continual round of applause would be appreciated. Thank you. Being a woman, I would say the following, it takes two great women to pull something like this off, and there couldn't have been two greater women with more passion for the arts than these two ladies. And they have breathed it, they have eaten it, they have drunk it, they have celebrated it. Uh, give me an adjective, they've done it, to bring this to the folks of San Angelo. And when you look at the quality of art that's here tonight and the energy and effort of painting our town, the artists have done a phenomenal job of, quote, painting our town. I am so proud of the work and effort and the artists who were chosen and all of us get to enjoy their incredible art. The proclamation reads as following. 
In October 2023, Enplair Air, or EPAT, celebrates its 10th anniversary as one of the premier outdoor painting competitions in the nation. Inspired by similar events around the country, EPAT quickly distinguished itself by celebrating the arts with the West Texas flair. Building on the inspiration from the 1920s, Texas artist camps in Cristobal on the South Concho River, EPAT has emerged as a national leader in on player air painting competitions. Annually, 35 nationally and internationally recognized artists spend three days on private ranches before coming to San Angelo to paint. Their presence in our historic downtown, in the International Water Lily Gardens, and other distinctive locations allows community members and visitors to explore what it means to paint, quote, in the open air. The event attracts world-class artists who are thrilled to paint our authentic West Texas ranches and locals while also competing for significant cash prizes provided by EPAT sponsors. Their paintings capture the spirit of our city and of our heritage. A major fundraiser for SAMHSA, sales of these paintings directly contribute to the children's free outreach programs at the museum. Nine years of outstanding community financial support has allowed more than 70,000 area students to participate in a fine arts experience through the museum many times hosted by EPAT competition artists. This competition is embraced by our community where over 100 volunteers support the week-long event. EPAT brings national and international recognition to San Angelo, solidifying its reputation as a vibrant arts and culture venue. While EPAT is a celebration of outdoor painting, it also embraces its role in the fabric of our community and seeks especially to excite and expose our youth to the possibilities contained in the arts. The 10th year celebration of EPAT begins October 22nd with a week of special activities headquartered at Gallery Verde on South Oak Street. The Stampede Awards Party and sale on Friday, October 27th, here we are, and the Saturday paint out at the Chicken Farm Arts Center culminate with the 10th year celebration party on Saturday at the Fort Concho Stables, which is free and open to everyone. Therefore, I, Brenda Gunter, Mayor of San Angelo, on behalf of the City Council, dear hope here proclaim October 22nd through October 28, 2023 as Enplair Air Texas Week. Thank you all for being here, and let's give them a round of applause for all of their efforts. Okay, let's get this show on the road. I had, was going to do a lot of thank yous, and I think that the video which Treva orchestrated, that was her idea, and uh, I think it turned out fabulous. That was just fabulous. So I think you know that we love everyone in this room, and we appreciate your support, especially the artists. Um, I will say that our husbands are two guys that we really want to uh, see a little bit more often after tomorrow night. <laughs> and uh, they know every year that we're going to go overboard, and we do. And they throw us life preservers, they cook for us, and they bring us lots of dark chocolate all the time to keep us going. So we thank, we thank our husbands. <laughs> So, artists, we thank you for letting us be part of your family because Plein Air Painters are a family of artists and all of our team here feels a part of that family because of y'all. Do you know that in the past 10 years, everybody, over 3,500 paintings of our West Texas area have been painted by, our, by 165 artists, I think, maybe 180. And that is a wonderful body of work. We have a body of work award tonight, but think about 3,500 paintings. Um, 36 states and four countries have come here to paint in this competition. And over 1,500 of those paintings are in the homes in this city and this area. So to three, over 300 different buyers. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, it's, a, it's a neat 
thing to look back on 10 years and add it all up. And, well, that's okay. That's enough. <laughs> and I, I want to visit now. It's, it's time for the awards to begin. Our judge, Michael Grower, he was our juror last year. And he is one of the leading Western art historians in the country, if not the leading art historian. He is also a plein air painter. He uh, was here several years ago at our event to, uh, and got really just fired up about this event. So we invited him to, to be here. He is, I don't have it written down. He is at the, na <laughs> he is at the National Cowboy Museum and historical, okay, it's just the National Cowboy Museum in Oklahoma City. A, a, big, a big guy there, he has authored numerous books. He lectures across the country, and um, he is our judge tonight, and we're excited to see what he's going to choose and show us tonight. So maybe welcome Michael Grower. I work at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City. <laughs> F formerly known as the National Cowboy Hall of Fame, so I get to do pr some pretty cool stuff in, in the job that I get to do. And I was honored uh, to be invited down here to, to give a little talk about plein air painting three years ago or two years ago? I guess it was two years ago uh, at the San Angelo Museum of Fine Arts, uh, still led at that time by my dear friend Howard Taylor, who's now enjoying retirement, uh, something that's uh, facing me and it terrifies me, frankly, um, but also ably led by Laura Huckabee, who I worked with on many, many exhibitions, uh, not the least of which was uh, 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 Jose Arpa exhibition, I think is the most recent one we worked on, who was a plein air painter from Spain. So um, it's really exciting for me to be here. Um, I don't paint anymore, but my favorite medium was uh, was pastel and painting on plein air is what I like to do, especially when I lived on the rim of Paladar Canyon uh, for a year. Um, that's something you don't have to take your TV out of the box for. You just open the curtains and there it is every day. So uh, I'm honored to be here. Uh, I hope I did, did everybody right. It was a, it's an excellent show. Um, you, 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 you mentioned the, uh, the, the impact of plein air painting in Texas here with this exhibition. I work at a museum that <clears throat> Uh, where we have the premier contemporary Western painting show in the country, um, and this is clearly the premier uh, plein air painting exhibition all across the uh, United States, in my view. So, anyway, one more round. I also didn't know I was going to have to announce the own awards. I thought I could slink out after doing what I was supposed to do. But Barbara says, you know, you get your, get your tail up there on the stage, so i got to do that. So... Okay, this first award was a People's Choice Award out at the Door Key Ranch. And this award is sponsored by Betty and Don Allison. And? And the winner is Lon Brower for Cowboy Girl. <laughs> and Don and Betty, if you'll come up all as well, please. Yes, for a photo. I'm sorry. And we're going to do your paintings coming. Oh, sure. And I guess let's go down there. Okay. No. Sorry. Careful. Go. We can go down here. Or let's take the picture that way. Go back on, okay. go back on down the stairs. Let's go back on down the stairs now that you've seen them. And w when we take a picture facing this way, it is fabulous background. So you guys, come on, okay. come on back down the stairs. Down the, down the stairs, and look back at the stage, and then you can go away. After this first rehearsal, we'll, everybody will do it better. <laughs> no, no. Yes, yes. Yes, give it to him. Now get together. Now everybody, and everybody in the room is in the picture now, okay? <laughs> I 
All right, we're going to be faster now. So next award was Artist Choice Award out. Um, they brought in their favorite ranch painting from uh, the weekend of painting on 16 ranches in this area. The Texas Artist Camp, which was mentioned in the video, award, Artist Choice Award, was sponsored by Linda Gober, who cannot be here this evening, but um, it is a $500 award plus a $100 JFM Frames Award. So the Texas Artist Camp Award, Artist Choice Award, goes to Charlie Hunter for Bruja. Yes, ma'am. Now, these are 10th Anniversary Celebration Award, again sponsored by Linda Gober, who is a Lubbock, in Lubbock now, but she had an aunt who was at the Texas Artist Camp. That's why she chose the award earlier. We, we picked a new award, 10th Anniversary Celebration Award. It's a $1,000 award plus a $100 JFM Frames gift card. And uh, we just told the judge, pick something that just is... Happy celebration. And nothing says uh, happiness and celebration for the 10th anniversary celebration award than Julie Sanderson's life as a box of cowboy up chocolates. So that painting is no longer available, and since Linda Gober is not here this night, the new owner of the painting is going to get in the photo with you. <laughs> How about that? Best Architectural Painting Award tonight is sponsored by Christine Brennan Stuhl, who is also out of town, but she is a faithful supporter of On Plein Air Texas. And this award goes to Farley Lewis for Twins. Spirit of San Angelo Award, I'm sorry, Ken Landon Water Lily Award, sponsored by Steve Eustace Company Realtors. I know Steve is here tonight. I think he is. And so... The Ken Landon Water Lily Award goes to Carolyn Lindsay for Lily Pond. This one. $1,000 award. We need to know if these paintings are available. Is this painting, Mike, do you know if that painting had a red star? This painting is still available and it's an award winning painting. Oh.
The Spirit of San Angelo Award is sponsored by Deborah and Russ Weatherford. They are not able to be here tonight. It's a $1,000 award plus a $150 JFM Frames gift card. The Spirit of San Angelo Award goes to Hirsch Agraval for Cactus. Wonderful for the new owner of that painting. This painting is no longer available to any of the rest of you. If I knew Barbara was going to have me climbing stairs, I'd have put my copper knee sleeves on. All right, the Texas Precious Water Award, and this is sponsored by the head of the River Ranch, which is down towards Cristobal, the Ryland Howard family there. The artists have painted there several years ago, and that was wonderful. The Howards were unavailable at the last minute, not able to attend. Their good friend Melinda Waring is here to congratulate the winner on the Ryland Howard's behalf, and that's a $1,500 award. I just have to say this is the toughest category for me because the water and the lack of water and the, and the need for water in West Texas is so acute at all times. And I know this, I've been living on the Llano Estacado for 31 years up, up at Canyon. So this one was a real hard one for me. But the winner for the Texas Precious Water Award is Richard Sneary for lifting fog. Is that painting available? Yes, it is. yes, that painting, that award winning painting is still available. The Texas Ranchland Award is sponsored by Cynthia and Jim Quinn, who are also at the last minute not able to be here tonight, but their daughter is here tonight to uh, congratulate the winner of a $1,500 award and a $250 JFM Frames Award. The uh, Texas Ranchland Award goes to Paldon Hamilton. I believe it's hope for rain. Hope, 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 hope of rain. Hope of rain. <laughs> Patricia Quinn is right here. Uh, to get in the photo, Cynthia's daughter. Turn it around now. Is this painting available? This painting is available. Fabulous. Texas Ranchland Award. Oh. So my time up in Canyon, in my, especially my research on Frank Ray, took me all over West Texas. I've seen nearly all parts of it, and people don't understand that ranch land out here doesn't look like what you see in the, uh, in the movies. Um, ranch land uh, sustains what it sustains, and of course the hope for rain is always present. So uh, the rawness of that, that painting really uh, appealed to me, having driven all over the place. The judge's award of distinction. We always just need one more award. The judge always wants just one or two more awards. So we have to throw some in. And this is a special award. It's a $1,000 award sponsored by Randy and Dr. William Bush. 
and uh, it's a thousand dollar award plus one virtual event admission from Streamline Publishing. And actually, our uh, sales rep from Plein Air Magazine and Streamline Publishing is here tonight. So we want her to come up also and and give this give this award. Jean Award. Everybody gets to join in the fun on the stairs. There we go. Well played. The judge's award of distinction goes to Stuart White for Lost in Work. Okay. Bill and Randy, I think you're here. Yes. Okay, the Museum Purchase Award, sponsored by Lee and Dr. Patrick Moore and Brooke Badger, in loving memory of Frank W. Rose, who was a staunch supporter of the museum. This is a $1,250 award plus a one quarter page ad in Plein Air Magazine. So I have to, I have to tell a story on myself. I was really um, vexed about this one because I thought, you know, I'm a museum guy. You don't pick artwork for another museum. And so, lo and behold, Laura came to my rescue and said, you, that's not yours to pick. Get out of my way. <laughs> so she took care of that business. And the uh, Museum of Purchase Award winner is Kirsten Anderson for Letty Girls. And this painting is certainly not still available. And I uh, got that wrong. Lee and Patrick and Brooke have upped that award to 1500 instead of 1250 So it's a $1,500 award, plus the ad in the magazine. I have to say my other job at the National Cowboy Museum is as cowboy curator, and it's gr very gratifying that two paintings of boot making made it into, uh, into the award, so that's, that's terrific. Not that I'm biased or anything. The third place award goes to Kent Brewer for Reservoir. That's a $1,500 award sponsored by Ellen Lassiter and George Shankle. And it also includes a one quarter page ad in Plein Air Magazine. And this. Sorry. Okay. This beautiful painting is still available, by the way. This award-winning painting. Third place award-winning painting. Second place award. Where's my, okay. So 
Second place award, sponsored by another longtime supporter of this event, Shirley and Mike Oliphant. It's a $2,500 award, plus a one-half page ad in Plein Air Magazine. The second place award goes to Hector Acuna for five painters. The second place painting, award-winning painting, is still available. Okay, artist choice. Let's see they chose. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And we need to. I don't know if that's already in there. Or, do you want to just say that? Or? I can this year. Yeah. The artist choice best body of work awards is sponsored by Tina and Douglas Bean plus a half-page ad in Western Art and Architecture magazine, and it goes to Jeff Steiner. Yeah. I don't have a okay. This is a $3,000 award from your peers. Are Tina and Doug here? I don't think that Tina and Doug Bean are here, but uh, they are longtime supporters. Oh, my gosh. Is that available? Three more paintings are available on his, and this one is available. Judge of an art show uh, is pretty challenging. Um, I've done them all over the place, various parts of the country, and so on. And they're never easy. It's it's a it's a hard choice because you kind of jokingly think you have people's fate in the palm of your hand, but you don't really. Um, and it's it's based on as an art historian, I come at it a little bit differently than perhaps an artist does. And I can't see art without without seeing the lens of art history. That's just part of me, and you'll learn more about that tomorrow. So the grand prize, the Elta Joyce Murphy Award, is sponsored by Elta Joyce McAfee, plus a full-page ad in Plein Air Magazine and a gift card, Plein Air Magazine gift card. It goes to Vlad Duchev for previous water. Congratulations, Vlad, and to the lucky uh, owner of that painting because it is not available. try to be quick a few more minutes if you don't mind first I'd like to thank Brooke Brooks Willig from Western Audio Works 
for all the work that he put into this video. I've neglected that a while ago. Thank you, Rick. Treva. Treva, why don't you come back up? Just while I'm talking. So while she's coming up, when we are visiting some of the other top plenary competitions in the country over the past several years, I can tell you that our San Angelo event is in the top tier in the country, and it's our hospitality, our city, and our landscapes. They're talked about when artists are talking about the events to get into. They're talking about our events. Is that true, you guys? I think so. So um, our goal by tomorrow at 5 o'clock is to have our biggest sales year ever and the resulting proceeds to fund that 10,000 kids or maybe 15,000 kids um, art, fine art experiences for this year. Uh, so I want to remind you that tonight and through tomorrow at 5 o'clock, there's no city sales tax. The museum gets a... 24-hour period not to charge sales tax, and we're using it tonight and tomorrow during the day until 5 o'clock. So, no sales tax on your painting tonight. So, and now I have to, <laughs> I have to tell you that um, Treve and I, we've been doing this for 10 years, and we're going to kind of go into a different kind of retirement. Uh, we have been working with SAMFA all this year to help with a smooth transition. And we're going to hand this over to the museum. And so, artists, your evaluations this year are going to be most important. And we want you to take some time to give us your thoughts when we send those out to you. And community, if you have ideas... We want you to reach out to the museum so that this continues to be the beautiful event that it is. I second that. Um, we are so deeply grateful for Barbara and Treva for their outstanding leadership of this program over these past 10 years. And not only that, they're the ones who built it, who began it. And uh, I just want to reassure everybody that the museum is committed to continuing this amazing program, even though it's, it's not going to be the same without this, uh, without this wonderful dynamic duo's leadership. Uh, we hope they will still be around in some kind of advisory role if we get stuck and we have questions. We, we hope they'll still be there for us. Um, but I, again, I can't. I can't express my gratitude enough for just how incredible um, not only not only the the art itself that gets generated, the benefit to our education programs, but just this what it's built in our community. I I just can't say enough for what an amazing program this is, and thank these two amazing ladies for building it up and making it what it is. Um, again, thank you all of you for being part of this. Thank you for your support and for, for your energy, your appreciation, and as, especially um, just for, for being part of something great that we plan to continue. So I know we've been, oh, you can, you can go, it doesn't matter. Uh, I just, I want to say my, 
I have a lot of big happy faces from this event, and that was probably abrupt earlier, and I didn't quite know how to say it, so it wasn't the fact that, uh, that, uh, that I said it correctly, but happy face for getting to know and love all of our competition artists and feel like we're part of the plein air family. Treva and I, thank you for that. Seeing the education department at SAMHSA add a second path to their curriculum and get more and more and more involved in our local schools. They're gonna be reaching many more students because of EPAT and giving those students more opportunities to be involved in the arts. And we're happy that we were a part of that. And then watching our local artists grow and get more engaged with each other, which is what the plein air family is all about. Um, we're family, we're not competitors. And so now our local artists are getting more involved with ASU students. You've seen them tonight and all this week and high school students and we love this happening, watching this happening. So we're gonna be revisiting the fact that we are both artists and we are now unemployed <laughs> and free to take workshops and go paint all the time so where do you think we're going to turn up next? <laughs> okay. Go buy some more paintings because when you wake up every morning and get to look at a beautiful painting, you can think of all of these artists and, and on Plein Air, Texas. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>